I'd like to give you a quick demo today of how to read a text file. There are a couple of ways to do it, and this is pretty straightforward. I have an input text file on my desktop, and it looks like this, a bunch of numbers in it. And basically what I want to do is I want to read that text file. Now, I can include the text file in my project, which is fairly straightforward. And to do that, I left-click on the text file, which is on the desktop, and I just drag it in and I drop it in the file project. Uh, it's going to ask me do I want to copy the files or link to the files. Typically I like to copy the file because then if I move the project the file goes with it. So there's the file on the project. Now if I run this thing hopefully it'll read the file. It'll use the scanner input and use the scanner input new file. Now the name of the file is input.txt and there it is and it's located in the directory. We'll talk about this one in a second. So when I run it, this is what I get. It reads the file, everything's fine. Great. The second case is a little more interesting. So I'll just comment this one out and I'll open up the second one. With the second one I have the same scanner class and I have everything else. The only thing you have to remember in the second case is that I have the file in a separate directory under my root C and a different file name. So it's not going to be in the project. So to refer to it, what I need to do is I need to have multiple blacks, uh, pardon me, backslash. That's because a single backslash inside a quote is an escape type character. So this donate, uh, denotes uh, the, the uh, double backslash and that will get us the correct route to the file. Thank you very much. Let me run this thing and it says select and there it's running. It was a different file. It's gotten those results. So what I just wanted to show you is two ways to point to a file. One having it internal to the project and the second is having it external to the project. Thank you.